so we are building like in this whole economy um, financial fundamentals to obtain a lot of assets and a lot of liquidity to make all the things working for the supply chains and for the banking. I'm one of the two blockchain developers at Sweetbridge. He's the second one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thanks, Miha. Uh, I'm Robert, and I'm very happy to be a part of um, of, of the team and um, uh, Switchbridge. And I joined it uh, uh, July last year. And personally, I'm uh, master in computer science, major in analytics and data mining. And um, now we have a pleasure to present you the uh, our core concept of the discount token, uh, how it works. So I will start with. Uh, um, general use case and the definitions. And then Miha will uh, present you um, how this is applied in our, uh, in our platform, in our system. And the last part will be very quick show uh, the, the usage in, a, in the application itself. Um, so let's, let's go on. Um, very quickly, how many of you heard about Switbridge? Okay, not that bad. So, uh, just to give you like a very short spotlight, so Splitbridge is a, it's a project uh, where, uh, which tries to disrupt the big world of the uh, supply chains and uh, corpor corporate banking. And uh, this, this is our team, this, <laughs> this is who wants to do it. Uh, so we, uh, in fact, recently um, came and um, and here in Switzerland, and uh, do a coding session. But this is only a part of our engineering team. This is a bigger picture. And currently, are, we are almost uh, 100 people, full time, uh, not counting an advisors. And uh, the project started um, uh, spring last year. And um, we are very distributed. So, um, as you can see, this is only a fraction uh, for uh, for um, our uh, our team, and it's growing. So I uh, hope that everybody who is interested has been in touch because uh, we have a lot to think, a lot of things to share. Okay, so let's go on. So Switbridge, uh, in fact, is a group of uh, organizations of independent organizations, which uh, tries with a common goal creating a better economy. And how you want to do it? Of course, with a blockchain. Um, why blockchain? Because um, it provides a value, it provides a technology for uh, easily sharing the value and doing it in a dis distributed, trusted, and a secure way. Something which is not possible with the traditional systems where uh, we need to account for... Um, um, missing consensus or a trusting. So um, we want to tackle uh, the supply chains, the problems around the supply chains and optimize them uh, by creating an open protocols. So all these independent organizations, uh, they contribute with the business cases and the Swiftbridge itself providing and developing protocols as a foundation of all of that, all of that efforts for the supply chains and the finance. Finance being as a, um, as a common medium for the, all the operations. And the supply chains, why supply chains? And that's, that's maybe a good question. Uh, because uh, it's the biggest uh, operational market in the world. Um, it accounts for basically three times as big as the, uh, as the financial world. So there's a lot of things to do. And uh, the protocols are mainly based on, a, on, a, on the blockchain. AI and um, um, and banking. So okay. So now let's go to the discount token economics. Um, this is the core of our thing. Um, so let's maybe first start about the tokens itself. Um, as you probably already heard, there are many kinds of tokens. Yes, like um, initially how we would like to define it. 
we have uh, cryptocurrencies which reflect the payment tokens, then we can have a utility tokens and we can have a securities. But this is like a big picture, like high level picture. If you look more into the detail, we could just split it down into um, tokens which will bring the loyalty value, uh, bring the access to the platform, uh, providing a, a mean for the investment, um, assets, ownership, equity. Of course, we have tons of Ponzi schemas tokens, which are only just there to make money for the early adopters and the core team. And um, the last thing here is a, it's, a, it's a discount token. So this is uh, the innovation which we would like to, uh, to present and, uh, in fact, invite you to, to the collaboration also. Um, and here a, a quick check. So how many of you before heard about the discount token in a crypto world? Wow, that's good. There we have one. We have somebody. <laughs> um, so the definition, let's start with the definition. Um, as you know, okay, like we have a, when you have a payment token, it's something that you can spend. Yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's the goal. So discount token, you, we, we don't want to spend it as buying something, yes? So discount token is an asset, it's kind of an asset, which uh, has a limited right to receive a discount on purchases of a services. So you need to have another mean for spending or to, to buying. Um, it's like uh, any other thing you have, uh, I don't know, loyalty bonds from the shops to obtain an extra, extra discount. Um, and uh, going with that in mind, yes, that it's uh, not mean for buying stuff, it's important to um, split down or to group this, this tokens into two categories. So one is a discount token which could be redeemed and another one which, uh, which are permanent. So what's the difference? Um, the redeem token is like a bond. Okay, I can go to the shop, present my bond, and obtain 50% discount on my next purchase. Uh, this this bond can have some um, uh, limitations, like maximum purchase, uh, the time limit, or uh, or a usage. Like I can use it once, twice, and so on. Uh, a permanent discount token. This is something special. Or Let's say uh, unique, which comes also with uh, with the design. Uh, so a, a holder of a permanent discount token can have a lifetime discount for something. So I don't know if um, uh, if you are a, a blood donator, yes, you can you could get a permanent discount token for the public communication in a certain countries. Yeah, so it it, it will not disappear over time. Uh, so there is a valid use case in the economy for, for having both of them. And uh, we would like to have, to highlight, in fact, this special part, the permanent one. Uh, because it's very useful in, in ICOs, in how we can invest our projects. So, so let's go on. Oh, yeah. Um, what are the requirements for the discount token to be classified as a discount token? So first of all, yes, you can't get the discount bigger than 100%, because otherwise, in fact, you have the, uh, you are starting earning, yes, you are making the money. Um, it should always have a value unless it's invalidated. So if I have my bond, yes, it's a liability on the other side that um, uh, I have a right to use it. Uh, maybe transferable, maybe not. But if we, we can have a rule that I can uh, uh, give my bond or offer my bond to, to a friend, sold it, or keep it. Or I'm, we can save, save a rule that uh, it's not transferable. Uh, maybe we can trade it if there is a market for it. And this is important, it's not a currency. Okay, so um, we don't want to here compete in the currency market and has a value. What does it mean that it has a value? That we, uh, we can evaluate it 
both in a, in a PLR or in a, in a platform or uh, in ourselves, like when we, uh, when we invest or when we use, uh, we would like to, to check how much value we obtain out, out of it. Um, and uh, here is a short diagram to highlight you uh, how the, the permanent token can function. So let's go here quickly because this will be important for the second part presented by Miha. So uh, users can obtain the, the discount token either by purchasing them during the ICO, for example, or from the open market. Uh, the token it has itself has a value. So let's say that um, if I use this token as a license, this is the specific case for this diagram, um, to access the platform or to uh, use some service, then so we can clearly compute its value. Um, and then I can use it. So let's say that uh, we, have a, we have a platform and uh, there is an initial cost of the platform, the, uh, the price of it can grow over the time with the usage. And depending on the token definition, so let's say if we early issue the token for a small price and then uh, grow the value of it, because it will appreciate over the time by um, providing more discount or having the same discount but the price of the platform will grow, then by percentage, yes, uh, then the value will change. Uh, so uh, we are incentivized with the market definition here by uh, either holding it and using it or selling it. So there are, those are the two options. So being a token owner and then also being a user of the platform, uh, we obtain the value. We can just sell it if you just decide that, okay, we, we, we got our value, we are not interested anymore in the service. And uh, out of that part of the usage, this is something special. This is something which is super attractive for the projects. Since the token itself is not a mean of, of, uh, of investment, it's a mean of uh, providing the utility of the platform directly, um, there is a huge um, probability that it will not be classified as a security. So ourselves, uh, Switchbridge, um, we create a framework for the discount tokens and working with different jurisdictions around the world that this, ju this framework, as we define it, will not be classified as a security. And uh, what does it mean that anyone else who would like to issue the, the discount token with our framework will, be, will already have a, a legal, um, uh, yes, um, president that uh, it's not a security. And also like, having this framework, it's way more automatic. Uh, it provides the automatic way to, for the ICO and for the um, um, for the projects uh, to get the value. And that's the beauty. Yeah? So people who in fact are using can, can get the value directly, but they can also spend it, one, uh, trade it yes, once, uh, once they change their mind. Um, where is that? Here. So a very quick summary how the discount token makes the value and where it's good for. So it's great for uh, loyalty-like services. The, the, the discount itself can, can change. Yes, we can define the models that it could uh, logarithmically grow over the time at the center level. Um, it mitigates risk for being classified as a security. And um, we as a split bridge, so trying to create this global economy, open global economy. Currently, we are already registered in 11 jurisdictions around the world. In some of them, we are already legally approved that this discount token works. In the others, we are on the way and we'll get this approval as well. 
And um, uh, so there is this um, appreciation for that model. Uh, also, it's applicable for milestone-based loaded token release. So imagine that uh, you you want to issue the tokens, and uh, instead of doing an open ICO or not capped ICO, or even a capped ICO, but only like in the one tranche or one release, you can have a multiple tranches with the same token. But uh, whenever the platform will grow or the usage of the platform will grow, the value of the token can also grow. Yes, because uh, as we will show and Michal will demonstrate in the example, uh, the um, the unit value of the token can grow over the time by representing the the discount of the usage. So the discount of the usage will be the same uh, by a nominal one, but the unit will grow. Um, and avoid the currency risk. So since the uh, so the discount token is not a is not a currency, it reflects the 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 cost of the platform. So let's say that I have a platform, I want everybody hundred dollars for using it. So that's the real value of it. Yeah, so we can easily measure it. Yes. So if somebody is using it, yes, and let's say the discount token will drop the fifty percent of it, then the value of the token is fifty dollars. And there are more advanced examples when we will show that how we can in fact uh, appreciate it. Uh, of course, the it's not a, like a golden solution for everything. So discount token is, by definition, not made for payment. It's not made for um, dividend-like models, and it doesn't create any meritocracy. Yeah. So for for let's say more sophisticated usages, we would need to create a different model or a combined model with, with, with different tokens. Um, so a few examples. Um, so let's start with a very simple one. Alice is running a, a referral campaign for a startup called Home Food. And uh, she wants to uh, have some early investment. She proves that she can deliver and she wants to offer a discount for, for the service. So let's say she wants to issue thousand of her tokens. Oh yeah, so there's another one. So she wants to she's issuing these tokens for the new referrals, and uh, she's doing it only once, collecting the like doing the crowdfunding, and all those guys who who will obtain the tokens once the service will be ready, they will get the discount. So they will, uh, the tokens will be spent. And that's over. Yes, and then the platform will be start will start functioning. So it's a very simple crowd crowd um, founding model, and uh, also very uh, secure in, in case of um, um, securities and uh, uh, and the legal stuff. Uh, let's go to uh, the, the permanent to discount token example. So we are creating a video-on-demand platform, a cloud service, and the platform charges a certain amount, C US dollars, per user per month. So it's something like we have, um, uh, I don't know, our uh, cable television or something, and we pay uh, $50 a month. Uh, so they want to invest again in uh, their, their project, and they are issuing uh, VTT tokens or video, uh, video on demand tokens, as a perpetual uh, discount tokens to to fund their initial development. And how is it used? If a user has this token, um, he can lock them. So I will just explain it and uh, uh, drop the price by locking them, meaning that so I'm holding it. So if I want to to get a discount. I need to put it in a, in a special place, and internally we call it a vault. And um, uh, when it's locked there, we can't use it, we can't trade it, we can't share it. Yes, but it also um, uh, means that I can use it in a system to pro to provide a discount. It, it's only to like prohibit about like that double spending or, or sharing it with with another person. 
to, to obtain the second value of it. And uh, we can have a, a little bit more complex uh, formula here, how to do it. So instead of having a constant one, we can um, define it as a ratio of the platform usage. So uh, let's stick a little bit because this is a nice example to represent how, in fact, the early investors, how we can, in fact, invest, how we can get the value out of it. So, um, so let's analyze it. C is the, the cost of the unit, so it's, it's, this, it's this price. Let's say $50. Beta is a special parameter I will describe a little bit later. U is a uh, number of users in the platform. T is the number of tokens I have, and T is uh, the global amount of tokens. So the discount I obtain is, let's say, it's the ratio, it's this ratio. Uh, so it's one minus, yeah? So this will represent, so this part is, is in fact, is the discount. Um, so it's the ratio of the of my investment, of let's say my shares of the tokens, but um, uh, multiplied by U, which means that whenever the user base grows, I would obtain a bigger discount. So uh, let's have a simple example. We have uh, one million of tokens. I have uh, one thousand of them. So I have a uh, one per mil discount. However, if there are already um, 100 users in the platform, yes, uh, my discount will grow to, uh, to uh, 200, uh, sorry, to 10%. And we need to protect that the people will not start earning on it. So this, uh, the, the first criteria that you, the discount will not grow above 100%. So it's basically, that, that's the condition. And we have another parameter, beta, which can vary here. So might be constant, might be not. But just for simplicity, this is to avoid too big discounts. Um, so here with this, like whenever the, the user will grow and our platform, our business model is valid, whatever it is, if the users have the tokens or not, they just want to use it. But the investors, they obtain a perpetual value of it. Uh, so, like this sentence, which I would like to, 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 uh, to have it as a, uh, the words of this talk, is that for every dollar spent by early participants, the discount realized later in the network's lifetime grow as the network utilization grow. So, the concept is that we can design a mathematics uh, which will be valid for the investment purpose. Um, this is a more complex example. I maybe not explain that too much, maybe later on. <laughs> but I just wanted to present is that we can do something more interesting. So uh, this, this factor here, um, there should be one, so it's Later on, when reading second time my, my presentation, I forgot to put one here. A one minus, yeah, so, uh, so the same compound here uh, should be available. Uh, instead of representing the, uh, the ratio, or like binding the ratio to the uh, platform size, we can bind it or represent it by the total cost. So uh, remember that the platform has some code at $50 per month. If there are 100 users, that would go to 5,000. If there are 500,000 users, it will go to 50 million. So this factor will change dramatically. And uh, it will also uh, decrease um, the discount over the time. So, um, it will provide, let's say, I think, more might obtain more sane uh, um, uh, economics, platform economics, for the other users who don't have the discount token. Uh, 
there could be like thousands of analysis. We can manipulate these formulas and find out what is good in our case, what is not, in our, what is not good in our case, and how we want to incentivize. Uh, but the goal is, yes, that uh, we can construct uh, an investment opportunity here. Okay, so uh, that was about the, the, fundament, the fundamentals about the, the discount token. And I would like to pass to Mika, who will show you the, the real case. Thank you, Robert. Uh, so, yep. <clears throat> Sweetcoin is a discount token, and it follows the same formula as Robert presented before. Thank you very much for your attention. No, it's not. Um, so what we're doing with the discount token is basically reducing interest on your loan. Sweetbridge is a project that allows you to be your own bank. We all own assets. We all have a lot of money that we set aside for later. And this money might be in the form of cryptocurrency. I'm sure a lot of you have that. Might be in the form of cars or houses or paintings, which can all be tokenized and which will be tokenized in the near future. And once everything has been tokenized, everything is a crypto asset, and everything can be, um, where's my pointer? Everything can be replaced, uh, this ether here. So the idea is that you have an asset, you lock it, this asset in a vault, in the Sweetbridge vault, and you generate new money just like your bank does. Isn't that nice? We allow a uh, collateralization ratio at the beginning for Ether because Ether is so volatile and you never know what the value will be tomorrow uh, of 50%. So if I lock $1,000 worth of Ether, I can generate myself 500 bridge coin and then I receive these bridge coin and ex I can exchange these bridge coin for real dollars. Now, of course, because Sweetbridge has to earn some money and uh, also uh, hedge the risk that you will never pay back, that Ether will crash, who knows what will happen, we have to charge interest. And this is, uh, no, sorry, this is still, the uh, bridge coin. Uh, um, yes, this is this was how to show how you can get your ether back is actually by buying the bridge coin plus the interest that you incur, and you pay that back. You get your ether back. You can unlock your ether. I will not go into the detail because we don't have that much time, but I hope you got the essence of it. Oh, you lock your ether in a vault, you generate new money, you go on vacation or whatever, you come back from your vacation, you get your salary, you put the money back, you get your ether out of the vault. The important thing is here that the ownership of the ether, and that's where the blockchain comes in because it's the only system that allows that, we hold your ether for you, but we don't own it. You continue to own it. And so when the ether get, gains in value, like we have in this example here, you gain the whole increase in value. You also have the risk for the ether losing value, of course. So if you lock together with your ether, you activate some sweet coin, and by activating, I mean you freeze your sweet coin for 30 days. We will waive the interest for these 30 days. Nice, isn't it? So you basically get an interest-free loan. And you can waive any fees on the Sweetbridge platform just by locking your sweet coin for 30 days. You have to, to lock, of course, enough sweet coin for these 30 days. And what is enough sweet coin is shown in this spreadsheet. 
I'm no big fan of formulas. So the amount of sweet coin you have to lock or to activate, as um, I have named it here, is based on the state of the system. Just like in the video of the on-demand example of Robert, it depends on how many other people have activated Sweetcoin and how many other people have taken out a loan or have generated Bridgecoin. In our state here, we have uh, fees for the activation period, which I previously said was 30 days. So we have fees for the past 30 days, which are $5,000. That means at this interest rate of 6%, there, has been, there is a million dollar outstanding loans for which 2,000 sweet coins have been activated. This is an arbitrary number that I have chosen. And this 5,000 uh, dollars in fees, which is important to know is, it doesn't matter if people actually paid it or if they were able to avoid paying that by activating their sweet coin. It doesn't matter if my customer paid a fee or do not pay the fee, the volume of the fee that was generated, discounted or not, counts towards the state of the system. I want $1,000 for one month at 6%, so my fee will be $5. I have only half a sweet coin, so I am activating that, and I see here that uh, the beta being one, that my fee, which is five, times the total activated sweet coin divided by the total fee, which is 2,000 divided by 5,000, times five equals two. And so my half a sweet coin gives me a 25% discount on my interest. If I had activated two sweet coin, I would have gotten 100% discount. And if I had activated three sweet coins, the system would have told me, no, you can't do that because that's too much. And with that, I'm giving the word to Gal, who will talk a little about how we're going to implement that thing and let you guys use it as of very soon. <laughs> Um, I made a very terrible mistake. Oh. So in the um, slide where I presented the, presented the team, yes, I just forgot. So uh, here is Gal, and there is Josh. So Josh was in the photo, and uh, they yes. they brought me from New York to uh, to do this one slide, and they forgot about me. So uh, it's fun. So like basically, my, take my apologize. And <laughs> no worries. Basically, what what? So I'm a product manager for this product. Uh, for this be your own bank uh, solution. And as you could probably understand, there's a lot of uh, concepts that are very complicated to explain as we took, we took half an hour to explain what is a discount token. But the question is, how do you transfer this, this topic to a user that doesn't understand math at all? And that's our challenge, basically. That's what we're trying to solve. And therefore, we created this user interface. So, what you see over here is, is basically the, uh, the UI, the user interface, that would enable a user to take a loan. So this is part of the app. It's not the entire app. But basically, what do we see here is that you locked already this amount into your vault. So this is your uh, total amount. You have a certain credit that you could take out, to, you could take off of it. And what already you took out of that uh, total amount and then all of the discount token capability is basically within this toggle uh, I want an interest-free borrowing that's it you just click on that if you have enough sweet coin to give you interest-free loan if you need a little bit more or if you don't have enough sorry it would pop up a model which would say you actually could get only up to 50% of what you should have paid or 3% loan and as a result, you should buy additional sweet coin to get the additional uh, discount. That's all what you could take. 
That's all, all what you see. Nothing complicated, no formulas, no numbers, no nothing. There would be also a calculator that would enable you to calculate if you're blockchain 7, you want to understand exactly how do I get to 1.2%. You could get there as well, but basically everything is behind that. In addition to that, you'll see all of the portfolio composition. So what do you have within that vault that Micha described, right? You have 5 Ether, 10 Bitcoin, so on. Everything would be over here. And then in terms of payments, you'll say you'll have, you have an outstanding balance. When is your next payment due? How much you need to pay? Make payment. That's it. That's our app. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to use. You don't know that you're using the blockchain here. You don't know what Sweetcoin is. You just have your interest-free loans. Thank you.